All right, here's a tutorial on how to, without using Photoshop, create um, compressed images, JPEG images, for um, efficient and effective internet use. Um, the idea is, firstly, you want to get the image inside of this program. You want to crop it, compress it into a JPEG that's both the right ratio and also the right compression. Um, to start off, you want to go to the URL photopea, p h o t o p e a dot com. This is basically a, a program that emulates, that copies what a what Photoshop would look like. So you don't have to have a Photoshop account. You go file, you go new, and what you want to do is. You want to do um, width 1000, height 563, DPI 72, background white, create. That's good. Now I already, I already prepared an image. I'm going to drag that image inside. Um, wait a second, it's loading. Here we go. And now I have the image inside. Now all I need to do is hold the uh, shift the shift button so it, it it makes it larger evenly there we go um, and now I want to find it I want to place it in the most desirable spots now the thing is in order to keep pictures unique so that way Google doesn't say ah oh, they just copied the photo from somewhere else you're going to want to put a curves adjustment it's also going to make the photo look a lot better so let me just show you over here, nope, sorry there, new adjustment layer, you click it, it makes a drop down and you click the button curves. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna eyeball this because each photo is gonna be different. Over here, you're gonna drag this in, make sure it stays, see this, you don't want it to go up, that's gonna add more gray, that's gonna make the photo really bad. Keep it on the bottom and bring it down to a desirable location. Grab the one on the top, same thing, don't let it go down because then you start getting grays into the photo. Keep moving this along until it's not too sharp but it's a lot sharper now let me just show you before after you can see a very very dramatic difference this photo is popping and looks fresh and proper um while this one just looks very very gray but also what it'll do is it'll 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 make the photo very unique because of course a photo with this type of um, dimensions doesn't exist okay now that you've done that the next thing if the photo goes from edge to edge you, you might want to crop it in a little bit, um, but the way it is right now is fine. Then the next step is file, save as, more, no, you want file, JPEG. Um, you do it as JPEG, and now here's the thing. You want to pay careful attention to here. Over here it says JPEG 65 kilobytes. The quality is at 70%. Now it's gonna be a very hard balance. This is 100%. So this is this is the way it's gonna look. If you change the percentage, for example, um, okay, I, I guess I'm not sure I even had to change this. It's not working exactly the same as Photoshop. But this is at 100%, which means you're gonna see how it actually is. The idea is to kind of move it down as much as possible, so long as you get the quality. See at this point, let me just show you all the way down, all the way down. See, look at that. There's it's basically just a bunch of pixels. This that's terrible. So of course you're going to want to make it more. Even here, it's still not good enough. But somewhere around 50%, this is already getting pretty good. 100%, it's looking fantastic. But of course, it's 499 kilobytes. The rule of thumb is you want to make sure it's under 100, um, which means, I mean, at 50%, you're pretty much good. But then the good news is, this looks good enough. It's not perfectly sharp. It could definitely be sharper. But the truth of the matter is, to be fair, the original isn't that sharp either. It's not such a great photo. Um, and then you want to just click um, save. And you want to make sure it's 1,563 and save. And now it's saved over here.